Hi, I'm Allison and Annie asked me to make a video about my journey to a healthy sense of competition. I used to have an extremely negative belief system about being competitive and I attribute that to the fact that I grew up with a lot of siblings close to me and so I always felt compared to them with everything um, from sports and school to the way I made my bed just that's just how I felt and this was really solidified and really became a unhealthy thing for me when I was in college and I ran my first marathon and right about nine, mile 19 when I was really hitting a wall I saw my then fiance and he the first words out of his mouth was um, come on pick it up you're going too slow you can do better than that and he was trying to be motivational um, but that's not what I heard at all I was trying my absolute best and I was dying just to keep taking more steps and um, I had promised myself I was gonna run the whole way and I was just absolutely dead and I still had like five miles left to go and to hear that from him what I heard was I'm not good enough I am giving all that I can and he's not proud of me and that's not what he meant at all he probably you know said that to encourage his teammates but that's not what I heard and so from then on I learned in that moment that being competitive hurts people and people who are competitive are rude and I just like fabricated this whole negative belief system in my mind about what it means to be competitive and so since I was naturally competitive and I didn't let myself be competitive anymore in times when it is completely appropriate to be competitive like in sports and playing games and stuff um, life became a competition for me and it started coming out in like these really unhealthy ways where I would compare myself to other people and like come up with all these excuses or reasons in my mind why they were able to do something or why I was able to do something and it was just super unhealthy. So um, I'll give you one example. Um, I would compare myself to other people and how many kids they had. And if they were pregnant, with more, like another kid than I had uh, I would feel super intimidated by them and like come up with all these reasons why I was still a good mom even though I wasn't having as many children as them I mean what the heck is that that's so ridiculous and um, I really started to notice exactly how unhealthy this um, belief system was for me when I signed up to do a race with my sister it was a triathlon. I had never done a triathlon before and I was super excited but really I all I cared about in the race was just having a positive experience with my sister. That's like all I wanted to do and I asked her to run the race with me I asked her if we could stay together and she said no that's that's not the way I race I I want to beat this certain time I've been training to beat this certain time and I was so devastated by that that she would choose a time over me like over our relationship that's what it meant to me when she said that and it wasn't true at all it's just that's how deeply ingrained this negative belief system of mine was that I thought her saying I want to be competitive in this race was her saying I don't care about you and that was the moment when I realized okay I have to do something about this I have to really have to change this so I started I love learning from people so I started talking with people about what competition means to them and what a a positive definition of competition is because like I couldn't even play games with my husband without being offended because he was being mean to me um, anyway so I started reading about being competitive and um, listening to talks about um, like Olympic athletes and people who have a really healthy sen sense of competition and um, and I did this write out 
I don't know what class you're in, but I'm sure it's awesome if Annie is in it and you might have learned about this, but um, so you write out all the negative beliefs that you have and then you write out the positive opposites of those beliefs and you tear up the negative ones and then you state the positive ones and like write it, write those positive ones on your heart with like deep breathing and, and different, different techniques. So, um, I'm not sure if I was actually supposed to explain what those te techniques are, but anyway, so I did that and I released those negative emotions that had become trapped during that experience. And after, after that, this was like the weekend before my race, I did that. Um, and I had the most amazing race of my life. I, every single person that I passed, I said, good job. I, I, I encouraged everyone that I passed or if someone was passing me, um, I, I said, good job to them. And I could feel the energy just multiplying as I gave to them. And then, um, I, I felt it just coming through me and going to other people. And I, um, not only did we both beat my sister's time, but I actually crossed the finish line before her because my um, I had come out of the transition zone before she did because uh, I didn't time I didn't have to tie my shoes. I just slipped them on and she had a time. So she said, I'll catch up with you in just a second. And she didn't catch up with me, didn't catch up with me. And it turns out that the chain of her bike had come off. And so she had, she took about two minutes getting that back on. So... Anyway, the whole race, I was just thinking she'll catch me any second. She'll catch me any second. And I was trying to go faster so that she would catch me. I don't wear a, rot, a watch or anything when I run, so I had no idea what time it actually was. And I can't explain in words, like there aren't words in English, to describe the feelings that I had as I crossed that finish line, knowing with every fiber of my being that I had done my absolute best and that I had just laid it all out there and I felt great. I didn't feel like a mean person. I didn't feel like I was hurting anyone. I felt like I had helped a lot of people. In fact, people came up to me after the race and were like, you know, you're awesome. You encouraged me and you just had this huge smile on your face and it was great to see you during the race. And I just felt so good and I know that it's because I was able to overcome that negative belief system that I had created in that moment years and years before, taking something to mean what it didn't even mean, and it just it morphed my whole perspective from then on until I was able to catch what it was doing to me and to my relationships and to my life and change that around. So, um, yeah. That's my journey to a healthy sense of competition. I help I hope it helps you in some way. Thanks.